Mark Dice, author, researcher. We carry all of his great books on the Illuminati, on the resistance, all available at InfoWars.com. Uh, and Mark Dice joins us because he was a big part of Brad Metzler's uh, top-rated History Channel show. Uh, I refused to be part of that episode uh, just because I was too busy. And uh, then they gave me an offer I couldn't refuse going back to Bohemian Grove. That's going to be airing on the 27th of this month, so I was part of that episode. Uh, but uh, Mark Dice was part of this episode. Uh, but as we go to break, though, we're going to uh, give us your take on the shooting and uh, all the stuff that's going on, uh, Mark Dice. Yeah, I think your analysis of the shooting is just correct. I mean, obviously, the conspiracy theorists in the mainstream media now have egg on their face. The guy wasn't politically motivated. It's clear that he's a schizophrenic lunatic with no political affiliation whatsoever. So I think that it's time that they all admit, uh, you know, maybe maybe Tom and Jerry, uh, the cartoons Tom and Jerry is about the only thing that I haven't heard uh, blamed, you know, for sparking this violent streak in this young man. But I, I think that just serves as a wake-up call, obviously. Everybody that came into contact with this man knew that he was mentally disturbed. So I think that instead of implementing new policies, taking away guns, free speech, how about when you come across the lunatic that's threatening to kill people uh, numerous times that somebody actually maybe files a police report and the police do their job? Well said. It turns out the sheriff is illegally suppressing this guy's real record uh, because he's the one that's liable letting this lunatic do what he did. I will be the guy who causes the next Oklahoma City. This is in a letter, an appeal to advertisers uh, of Fox, Dear Fox Advertisers, read this part of it. No one, left, right, center, wants to see another Oklahoma City. The next assassin may succeed. If so, there will be blood on many hands. They are setting up another Oklahoma City. They are claiming that one is coming, and they've already marked the one who caused it. But don't you miss Wednesday? All show? right. So he says uh, that you violence in the he president. says that pointing at himself, and then he goes on to explain they're preparing to stage a new Oklahoma City. Then he comes back now and says that 9/11 truthers will stage an Oklahoma City, and that anybody that thinks that government could ever stage something is a terrorist. But now, he, I mean, he can't have it both ways, Mark Dice, because previously he was saying Obama's people may stage one. I mean, what's going on with Glenn Beck? What's your view of him? He's all over the map. He, he understands that people's attention span is so short that he can say one thing and contradict himself the next day, and people don't uh, you know, catch him on it. What, what this whole shooting says, and, and then I want to move on to Brad Meltzer. I got some gr just incredible bombshells on this guy you're not going to believe. But what this shooting says is two things, that America is just completely so desensitized to craziness and violence that when a lunatic is running around saying he's going to kill people, People just don't think anything of it because violence is such a big part of our culture. And, and also, too, you know, this guy, everybody that came in contact with this kid knew he was a lunatic. There was no need for the Walmart, you know, if you see something, say something program. There, there was no need to go snooping around looking to see if somebody's willing to attack. This guy was in everybody's face. So it's obviously just everybody is, is, is incompetent, desensitized to the violence. Uh, and, and and that this is just a, is a huge huge tragedy, but but man, I got some bombshells on Brad Meltzer. We we got to get into this guy. Okay, Brett now Meltzer. let's recap. Let's recap in, the, in what's left of the short segment. And come back in the next, and obviously we'll have to go into overdrive. I know you got to go to work though. Um, again, author, researcher, uh, Mark Dice joins us. We carry all three of his great books at Infowars.com. He's got a new book coming out in the next few months that's going to be his most powerful and informative yet, uh, yet and uh, uh, he's going to debut that here. But he was approached, and I was approached as well, by Brad uh, Metzler, who's this huge best-selling author. Uh, dealing with, quote, conspiracy theories, but he's kind of branding it in the establishment way, to be part of this Statue of Liberty uh, episode, The Secrets of It. And I just said, you know what? I'm not doing it. Uh, and they were shocked that I wouldn't want to be on the History Channel. Then they came back later, and they said, we want to go back to Bohemian Grove with you. And that was something that I said no to, but then Mike Zwirling uh, of uh, some of our great affiliates uh, there uh, in uh, Central California it was really saying, hey, your listeners want you to come speak here. So I went and spoke to a crowd of 800 people twice, so 1,600 people. It was great. I killed two birds with one stone. I said, okay, infiltrate Bohemian Grove on this date, and I'll come. And so they did it. Uh, and I had a very interesting experience. I'm not going to talk about it because I've agreed to until it airs uh, coming up the 27th. 
But they tell me, oh, it's going to be very fair. Oh, it's going to be very nice. Seeing their other episodes does not spark confidence in me. But I was still trying to play nice with all of this. Now I see this article two days ago. Author Brad Metzer. How do you pronounce his name? Meltzer. Meltzer uh, was recruited in government agency, horrified at how easy it is to attack U.S. Now, now I've got comments on this as we go, but in the two minutes we've got left, go ahead and uh, break down the bombshells. Okay, this is incredible. So Brad Meltzer is the guy that heads up the History Channel Decoded show, the sort of modern-day conspiracy theory show investigating conspiracies. I'm in it. Alex is in it. There's other episodes uh, of some other interesting topics that are going to be coming out, too. And so it, it appears that his job, after seeing the Statue of Liberty episode that I'm in, is to sort of debunk the conspiracy theories. And then when you start looking into who this guy is, and I, I knew nothing about him before getting involved with this show, on uh, Tuesday... January 11th, 2011, uh, 1 he released a new book called The Inner Circle and just coincidentally happened to write an article in the New York Daily News where he explained, uh, he came clean that he was recruited by, um, by the Red Cell Project, a government program to brainstorm terrorist attacks, and then he starts bragging about all of his insider connections. But what is so interesting is years earlier, uh, George Bush 41, George Herbert Walker Bush, had read one of Meltzer's books and reached out to him and befriended him. And, and Brad Meltzer actually credits George Herbert Walker Bush with the plot of his new book, The Inner Circle, oh, which is all about uh, George Washington had a secret spy ring, and this is true, uh, called the, the Culper uh, the Culper Ring. Yeah, yeah, was... stay there. So so you've got the Skull and Bones Grandmaster, former head of the CIA. Uh, this uh, individual, the author, has been brought in to work secretly for the government. I mean, I've got a really bad feeling about this this uh, Bohemian Grove episode coming out. Uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Mark Dice is our guest. Brad Metzler comes out in the news this week, releases a book called The Inner Circle. He admits in it that really the idea for the book is Bush the Elder. And um, I'm not going to get into what's in the upcoming episode because, quite frankly, I don't know. Um, I've never been uh, approached uh, with more paperwork and more stuff they wanted me to sign. And I refused on the first episode that they wanted me to be part of, the one that Mark Dice is in. And so they came back and said, okay, you don't have to do all that. And I, and I just had a bad feeling, but at the same time, it sounded pretty exciting to try to go back and um, watch them try to infiltrate uh, Bohemian Grove. Uh, but when I got in with the three hosts, uh, two of the three were pretty much attacking me, acting like it was all a big joke. Then I saw the episode that Mark Dice is in, and then I read quotes where... Metzler made fun of people before the episodes aired and said, you got to see the kooks I got, the crazies I got. So it's all kind of proposed on the surface like it's going to fairly look at things. But then, uh, I mean, what does Brad Metzler expect us to do when he's running around talking about how we're a bunch of crazies? Uh, I mean, that prejudices the whole thing. We're just supposed to sit there and uh, take it. And, and uh, then the Statue of Liberty episode, oh, uh, these kooks think it's Lucifer, and then they go to the professor. Oh, it is Lucifer, but it's the good Lucifer. So this is basically the 33rd degree Masonic view of everything they've done, telling us how wonderful it is. And like Tom Clancy was chosen to be a propagandist, uh, it's clear that Brad Metzler has now been chosen uh, for that uh, same mission. As they can't ignore the conspiracy theorist culture, they now are trying to become it. Uh, but uh, that's not going uh, to work. Uh, so you've got the floor. Uh, break down the bombshells here, Mark Dice. Yeah. Meltzer uh, was uh, reached out, uh, George, George Bush 41 reached out to Meltzer in 2002, invited him to his Houston home where they talked about life in the White House and the importance of presidents being surrounded by people they could trust. And, and uh, here in this uh, USA Today article yesterday with the headline of author Brad Meltzer is part of history's inner circle, um, Bush says that, yeah, he considers Brad Meltzer a friend and uh, has his book right there. And, and Meltzer says that, uh, as a novelist, I can write whatever I want. But if two presidents are going to read the book, I want them to say, he got it right. 
and people are really appreciate your working it instead of just phoning it in. So, so they are hyping him as if, wow, this is the guy to go to for conspiracies. And then we learn how loving uh, the Illuminati is, uh, but continuing uh, with this Brad Meltzer. I mean, it's just incredible that when they approached me, they said, no, this is totally fair. We really want to look at it. We promise this isn't a hit piece. Now, my episode, you can see it on YouTube. Uh, it, it, you can understand uh, the editorial uh, creative uh, you know, decisions that they put into it. I mean, obviously, you can, you can watch it and see how it was pieced together. It's, it makes it look like we're discussing the, the Illuminati, and then a police car has its siren go off, and we got to get out of here. That's, that's all just editing it's, it's incredible what they can do but this whole guy's job he, he was his job is the new propagandist to whitewash conspiracy theories he's he's good friends with bush 41 who gave him the plot for his new book the inner circle about a oh it's george washington's secret spying. it's still going on today and it's uh, it's a bunch of good folks don't worry about it and the, the the lead character in his book beecher white works for the national archives so I guess uh, this guy just maybe never looked up the Operation Northwoods declassified document or the Gulf of Tonkin tapes to learn uh, what sort of actual conspiracies go on. And we're going to get into Red Cell in a minute. He had worked. He admits he's been recruited by the government. I want to explain what Red Cell really does for those that don't know, including members of Red Cell that are compartmentalized. The big bombshell here is Bush 41 is admittedly the grand poobah on the steering board of Bohemian Grove. He is one of the top people there, along with his son. And uh, this is Bohemian Grove striking back, basically. They're having their insider, their best buddy, who they write books with, who's, quote, part of the inner circle, go through every major conspiracy issue as the American people wake up to the secret establishment uh, that's running this country, the Skull and Bones and others. And that's what Bohemian Grove is, is an offshoot of. I mean, they didn't tell me, hey, we're insiders. We're good friends with the head of Bohemian Grove. They didn't tell me that. And uh, th that This is how good of an establishment insider he is. In this USA Today article released yesterday, again, a day after his book is released, uh, following the day after his New York Daily News article, uh, coincidentally, of course, released on the day of his book. The USA Today article goes on to talk about his book, and it just plugs it. And then it says, in parentheses, oh, twenty six ninety nine. It, it even says how much it is. You can just buy it right there. They're promoting him so clearly. But uh, th th this guy not only is, you know, admitted good friends with, with Bush 41, but he has released uh, a p private personal letter. Uh, from Bush, because for the last few presidents, there's a tradition of presidents leaving a short little note in the desk in the Oval Office for the uh, future president, for the in incoming president. Just a, a, a funny personal little note, nothing big. But Meltzer's trying to make it seem like the presidents are passing on, you know, the Illuminati secrets or the, the culper ring, you know, spy circle of the presidents are still operating, and they, they need to, and, and they're, they're going to go to the Bohemian Grove to just blow off steam. Uh, you know, it, it's it's so unbelievable, man. This guy is such an establishment insider. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Bush 41, I'm pretty sure, uh, helped recruit him for the Red Cell program. The Red Cell is a is a is a secret program that they've they've had it periodically. It's it's think tank sort of. It's groups of people get together and brainstorm ideas on how to attack America. And the the Red Cell report was actually released by WikiLeaks. So you can you can go and get that. You can read uh, that is the conclusions of 18 leading academic terrorist experts, former National Security Council, Department of Homeland Security officials, mass transit security specialists, et cetera, et cetera, and, and a novelist. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Bush 41 just pulled strings and got them affiliated and with And by the, the way, show. this is just like Bush 41 Never being in the CIA, but then becoming the director of it in the mid-70s, kind of like Brad Meltzer. Never part of the secret government operation at the very top of the pyramid, but now he's magically part of the inner circle. Now he's magically part of the the red cell. And, and imagine, I'm talking to the head producer, and I said, I want to hear from you that this is not a government hit piece, because I said the last History Channel piece was so disingenuous that, that we'd be speaking to a crowd of 500 people here in Austin at a 9-11 convention uh, event. They would then wait to the hour-long lunch intermission and shoot shots of every of the room empty and me talking to one person. Well, I, 